What is going on everybody? John D. Saunders here. In today's video, I'm talking about the importance of alt text on your Webflow website, as well as how you can create a process and delegate that to your team to ease up time and get an optimized website that Google will love to index. Let's dive in. Essentially, alt text or alt descriptions are written copy that appear in place of an image on a web page. So if Google was scraping a page or if a page couldn't load properly, this text helps screen reading tools describe images to visually impaired readers and allows search engines to better crawl and rank your website. So think of every image as a piece of code that is given a specific title. And that title can help Google index that page better by you providing that great content. So I want to show you a couple of examples before we jump into the training. Um, you can see those here. So you can see this image here looks like um, a background over at HubSpot. So a bad alt text would be HubSpot office wall, Singapore inbound marketing workplace, right? Just random words. Now a good alt text would be orange mural that says ship it on a wall at HubSpot's Singapore office. So this clearly defines what's on that page and can actually provide detail and specificity in regards to that. And so here's another example um, of a lady on the computer, someone else pointing at it. Now bad alt text for that would be woman pointing to a person's computer screen, right? It's pretty vague. Now a more specific alt text would be business school professor pointing to a student's computer screen. That's a really visual text that can really help in regard to describing something specific in that example. So if you're doing a web page about education software or something to that effect, this would be a great image that Google could index to help them find what they're looking for. So to jump into the training, um, just some of the best practices, describe the image and be specific. Use both the image's subject and context to guide you. Try to keep it less than 125 characters if you can, and then use the keyword once or a semantic variation. What that means is if the keyword is how to generate leads, you can use a variation like lead gen or lead generation. So it's still in tune with that keyword, but it's not exact verbatim because sometimes if you keyword stuff a little bit, Google knows what you're trying to do and uh, will will pen, not necessarily penalize, but won't index you where you want to be. So step one, what we're going to do is we're going to add alt text to all of our uh, specific projects. And this is how we're going to do it moving forward with any new project we have. So just hit up Webflow, go ahead and log in, click the dashboard, and then choose your first project. We'll just choose one as an example. Uh, right here and then you're just going to hit open designer now when you click open designer you're going to click assets once this page loads up so in the left hand side right here you'll see a little image button and you'll see all the images on the site you can actually expand this by pushing this button here that will expand all the content out properly and we already have folders here so that's fine so if assets are not organized, make sure you organize them in a folder based on content, right? So here, you know, we have about, we have blog, we have icons, we have team members, we have use cases. So some of this content's organized, you could probably organize the rest of it, but feel free to do that before you jump into uh, changing the alt text. And then once that's done, you're just going to hit all assets. You're going to start all the way at the bottom here in this corner, and then you're going to start to title these appropriately. So here's the first image. You're just going to hit settings, and then you're going to hit descriptive, Right now here, we're going to add the asset details. So for the alt text, um, let me see. I'm, I'm gonna try another image that's a little bit more here. Let's try this one. Okay, here we go. So this one is, let's take a look at it. Looks like a woman at her computer doing some work, right? That's actually, we can look at it here. Okay, so it looks like she's at her desk doing some paperwork. 400,000 in savings is like an image overlay. So let's go ahead and be descriptive as, as we can. So we'll put a young woman sitting at her desk, um, looking at paper, work and smiling. Okay, and then we're just gonna click off and that's it. So you're going to do that same practice for all the images. Once that's done, just make sure that you click in the upper right hand corner, choose publish to select the domains, and then just notify the team via Slack that you've made that update. 
So go through each site, just make sure everything is optimized and ready to go. For most sites, it's done. We just wanna make sure we're double checking that to make sure everything looks good. And then just be sure to publish when you're completed. I hope that helps and best of luck. Thank you all for checking out the video content. Again, we're doing this every week, dropping new content for you. Drop your comments below. How are you going to optimize your site with all text? Are you going to leverage the SOP that we created? And I hope to see you more. Again, thank you and please subscribe. We'll talk again later. Peace.